Hey there guys, we're doing a little bit of fishing on Somerset. We're camping here for a few nights, so we'll finally get to put the lines out. Uh, this morning we put the pots out, we got a few little shrimp. So we're gonna try them, we've got some prawns as well, so we'll give them a go. Looks like the first fish is caught by Stephen today. What you got, Stephen? Yeah, yeah. So I caught yesterday. Yeah. Was I just brought in one too? Now a little grunter. Yeah. Here we go, that's my first one of the day. Good size. This one any bigger, Stephen? Very nice. A little grunt up. See the spat it, we're giving up. Oh, no, it's still going. Just a little one. Hey there guys, we've caught some fish now, so what we're going to do is give them a, we're going to give them a bit of a clean and a bit of a gut, so first thing you want to do is sharpen your knife, so we don't have a knife block here or anything like that, so what we're going to do is just use the stone, just grab a nice flat one so we have something to work on, so we'll just give it a bit of a swipe each way a couple of times. That's much sharper. All right guys, so we've got our little barred grunter here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give him a quick scale and a gut, gut as well. So easiest way to give it a, a gut, make sure you got the sharp knife. You wanna put it straight into between the, the fins at the bottom. Make sure you don't pierce the gut. Just run your knife down just to the back fins, open her up. Might have to just uh, go a little bit more to the front as well, seeing that's such a small fish. Here we go. Just hook it out with your knife so it's easy to grab out. Put your finger in there and just pull out all the guts. Perfect. Well, we'll chuck this back into the water. It'd be good fish food for the rest of the fish. Give this a quick wash and we'll give it a scale. So the whole reason we're doing this is because they actually swallowed the hook hole. We pierced, it got the gut and they actually died. So we may as well put them to good use. Otherwise we'll chuck them back or keep them for later. So um, what we're gonna do now is just give it a quick scale. The easiest way I've found to do it 
is grip onto them with a pair of pliers. That way they're not going to go slip out. And then you just run your, your knife and you can see all those little scales popping off. That's all right for that side. So that's pretty well scaled, so what we're going to do now is just give it a quick wash off. When you're giving it a wash off, you want to make sure you're definitely getting in between um, the meat, right up towards the head. Try and get as many of these blue scales off as possible. So again, given these a bit of a gut and a clean, so now what we're going to do is cook them up. So what we've got is we've got our little $20 Kmart gas cooker, or butane cooker. Get that going. Got a little fry pan here. We've dried these off, give them a good wash. Uh, you want to make sure you get anything, um, you want to make sure they're bloody clean. Um, so nice and empty. Um, we've dried them off, so now we've put them in the We'll put them in. We'll just ease off the uh, <laughs> heat here. She's smoking. So you want about medium heat? Yeah, about a medium heat. Yeah. Especially with these butane ones. The cheaper they are, the worse they are. And fish. You just put them in. Fish cook quick. How long would you recommend each side, pal? Uh, we'll try it for a minute, two minutes each side. So we'll let them go. Probably just ease it off a little bit more. I'll grab the uh, tongs and check back in with us in a minute's time. Okay, so you know when the fish are cooked because the meat turns from translucent into like a nice white. This is going cooking very quickly. So just make sure you turn it just so it doesn't burn. They will have a little bit of rigor mortis, so just to make sure they're as flat as you can get them. Now you expect the little fins and all that will start to burn anyway. Um, if you can try and just get the light, a little bit less heat on them, it might just help a little bit. So you know these ones are definitely done because come in close. The, fl the skin's actually flaking up from the bone. You can see the flesh there. So they're, they're definitely ready. They've only been on for a couple minutes each side. We've just been flipping them every 15, 20 seconds or so they don't burn. They're definitely done, so we'll turn off the gas. And we'll plate them up. Well, I'll have the honest Carl, what does it taste like? Well, I've burnt my mouth a few times this trip, <laughs> so I might wait for it to cool down just a little bit soon. Please just do it now. <laughs> Have a taste. You need it for the people. You're doing it for the people. Okay. We got a little bit of the uh, bard grunter here. Have a little taste. The very clean, tasty fish. Very good. So these are actually, um, you can grab 20 um, is your possession limit. And there's no size on this lake because they're a bit of a pest. So take as many as you can. And uh, yeah, they're quite tasty. Well, thanks for that, watching that, guys. Very much appreciated. Um, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I'll see you again soon.